Spectre, take down Black Spider. Alive! Get ready to enter the dark and deadly world of yet another villain of the Cape Crusader. It is none other than Black Spider-Man from DC Comics. This guy is not your average villain from around the block. Oh no, he's a vigilante who takes justice into his own hands and often uses lethal force to achieve his goals. In other words, he's like the Cape Crusader, Batman, but with a bit more of a shoot first, ask questions later approach. With his iconic costume and his arsenal of weapons, Black Spider is a force to be reckoned with. So sit back, grab some popcorn, and get ready to experience the dark and dangerous world of Black Spider. Just don't get too close, or you might end up on the wrong side of his deadly arsenal. Before we go into our explanation, we have a very small request. If you like our content, please support us by subscribing to our channel. This is a small click for you, but for us, it means a lot. Thank you. Let's begin. Ever told you not to play with guns? Eric Needham, aka Black Spider Origins Explored. Black Spider is a character in the DC Comics universe that made his first appearance in Detective Comics number 463, titled Batman Death Web, and his origins are tied to a tragic backstory. Eric Needham, the man behind the Black Spider mask, became addicted to drugs when he was a young man and decided to begin a life in crime to fund his habit. His addiction led him to rob a liquor store, and while he was robbing the place, he ended up killing his own father. After his arrest, Eric kicked his addiction out of guilt for his actions and started a crusade against the drug mafia in the city of Gotham. He donned a costume and started calling himself a vigilante, targeting those he thought were dealing drugs. However, his violent methods caused him to pop up on Batman's radar who stopped him during his first criminal strike. Although Eric believed that he and Batman shared a common goal in their fight against criminals, his murderous ways started conflicts with the Cape Crusader. The conflict between Black Spider and Batman achieved its climax on top of a speeding commuter train, where Black Spider was trying to place a bomb on on a car of a drug dealer. The train's movement caused Black Spider, along with the bomb, to be thrown out of the car, and he was assumed to be dead after the detonation of the bomb. However, Black Spider was gravely injured and found his way to a hospital for medical attention. It became known that his weaponry and missions as Black Spider had been funded by a drug lord whose name was Hannibal Hardwick, who wanted to remove his competition. Once Black Spider took care of his rivals, Hannibal Hardwick had planned the death of Black Spider, but Hannibal was first on the most wanted list of Black Spider. The efforts of Batman and ensured that Hannibal Hardwick got sentenced to prison rather than dying at the hands of Black Spider. Eric Needham's motivations changed over time, and he began working with costume villains to try to seek revenge against Batman. However, this was merely a justification in his own mind for his actions. Black Spider is a skilled athlete and hand-to-hand -hand combat. He has excellent reflexes, agility, and endurance, which enable him to perform acrobatic feats and evade enemy attacks. Black Spider is also a proficient marksman and can use firearms with deadly accuracy. In addition to his physical abilities, Black Spider uses a wrist pistol. Black Spider's wrist pistol is a highly advanced weapon that is designed to be both compact and concealable. The pistol is small enough to fit comfortably on Black Spider's wrist and is often hidden beneath his costume sleeve. This allows him to surprise his enemies with quick, unexpected attacks. The wrist pistol is similar to a sleeve gun, a type of firearm that is designed to be concealed under a long sleeve coat or jacket. In fictional examples, such as the Black Spider's wrist pistol, there is often a mechanism that extends the gun out into the hand, which allows it to be fired quickly and accurately. Marvelous story arc for Eric Needham, aka Black Spider. After the Infinite Earth Crisis The character of Black Spider remained largely the same after the events of Crisis on Infinite Earths. In his first post-crisis appearance, the Black Spider found himself facing off against Nightshade and King Faraday during a case that led to the formation of the Outsiders. During his war against drugs, the wife of Eric Needham and his son were murdered under the orders of a drug dealer who had learnt about his identity, and in a final act of rage, Eric infiltrated the drug lord's stronghold and set off explosives that were strapped to his back, which resulted in the death of the drug dealers who were present in the vicinity. Although Eric was presumed dead, he made a reappearance in the Sandman comics by Neil Gaiman. In this story arc, he is seen dating Lyda Hall, a fury who has connections with a heroin Wonder Woman. His resurrection was not explained, but he has been seen continuing his role as the Black Spider. It is assumed that in the Sandman comics when the souls of the sinners escaped hell, the soul of Black Spider might have been one of the souls that also escaped. In subsequent appearances, Needham became a businessman who achieved great success, but the specifics of his business were kept vague. He eventually returned to his identity as the costume Black Spider and made appearances in various DC comic titles such as Underworld Unleashed and Identity Crisis, where he allied himself with Deadshot, Monocle, and Merlin. Needham has continued his role as a vigilante villain and was recently also seen as a part of the Secret Society of supervillains. In Battle for the Cowl, the network number one Black Spider was defeated by the Huntress. In his last will and testament, Eric Needham reflected on his life and also included his troubled upbringing, his addiction to heroin, and his time as Black Spider and expressed regret for his actions. 
the revamped DC Comics 52. In the DCNU Prime Earth, Black Spider is still a violent vigilante, but he has shifted his focus from drug criminals to superpowered ones. It is unclear why he has such a strong hatred for superpowered crime, but he has received ninja training to better face these foes without gaining powers himself. At some point, Black Spider was imprisoned and, under the orders of Amanda Waller, became a member of the Suicide Squad. Soon, his role as a traitor to the team was revealed. In a new development, Black Spider was seen equipped with robotic spider legs that had semi-automatic guns attached to them. He joined other villains to hunt down Batman when Two-Face's threat to release blackmail and all of Gotham's citizens was sent. Black Spider was later seen working as a mercenary for Copperhead as a member of her criminal enterprise. In his attempt to rob a diamond exchange, Black Spider was taken down by the fastest man on Earth, the Flash. Black Spider appearances in Young Justice In the animated series titled Young Justice, Black Spider is portrayed as a ruthless assassin and member of the League of Shadows. He takes pleasure in teasing his targets with dark humor before killing them. Eric Needham, the man behind the Black Spider mask, began his career as an assassin. He and fellow League members Cheshire and Hook were given orders by Sensei to assassinate Selina Gonzalez, the CEO of Ferrano Enterprises. Despite the efforts of Kid Flash, Robin, and Aqualad, Black Spider and Hook managed to capture the young heroes. However, they were defeated and taken into custody. Black Spider continued to be a thorn in the sight of the heroes who also attempted to assassinate the reporter, Burnell Jones. He also participated in a hit on Dr. Serling Roquette, who has worked for the Star Labs. He chased down and killed Jakar Marlowe with the help of an accomplice. Black Spider was also sent by Lady Shiva to assist in the capture of Cassandra Savage, a suspected traitor to the League. During the ensuing battle, Black Spider used his webbing to disarm his opponents before being caught off guard by Cheshire. Black Spider's sadistic nature and deadly skills make him a fearsome foe for the young heroes of Young Justice. His loyalty to the League of Shadows and willingness to commit heinous acts for them makes him a dangerous opponent to cross. Other characters who also became Black Spiders In the world of DC Comics, it is not uncommon for multiple characters to take on the mantle of a particular villain or hero. The same is true for Black Spider, who has been portrayed by different characters throughout the years. So let us take a look at a few of the characters that have taken up the name of Black Spider, a druggie who turned into a vigilante villain. Johnny LaMonica, the second character after Eric Needham to take up the mantle of the Black Spider. He was introduced in Batman issue number 518, which came out in May 1995, as a hitman whose name was Johnny LaMonica. An enforcer that worked for drug lords, Johnny LaMonica assumed the moniker of Black Spider when he was tasked with assassinating False Face Society's boss, Black Mask, by the Turk, a vicious crime boss. However, Black Spider's attempt was stopped by the Guardian Bat of Gotham City, and he was subsequently incarcerated in prison. During the botched assassinations, Black Spider suffered severe injuries that left his face disfigured with a web of scars, which gave an ironic twist to the name he chose. Unfortunately, Black Spider's story ended in tragedy when he was shot down by Detective Crispus Allen in the middle of a violent gang shooting by the Burnley Town Massive. Black Spider had targeted Detective Renee Montoya and was preparing to kill her when Detective Crispus Allen intervened and fired his weapon at the villain. The bullet fired by Allen ended up killing Black Spider. To make matters worse, Jim Corrigan, the red herring for Crispus Allen becoming the Spectre, sold the bullet responsible for Black Spider's death on the black market. Talk about spitting on your own grave. Derek Coe, the third character to take the name of Black Spider, made his debut in Birds of Prey issue number 87, which was released in December 2005. Derek Coe was his actual name, and he had apparently gotten the mantle from the calculator. He was assigned to break the savant, who was being tortured for the information about the Oracle's identity, but as the Birds of Prey arrived to save savant, he was thrown out of a window and nearly killed. However, Black Canary speculated that he might be a metahuman, which could explain his survival. During the battle for the cowl in the city of Gotham, Black Spider was seen finding against Manhunter, but lost the battle. Derek Coe later resurfaced as a part of the latest Injustice League. Black Spider was exiled in the events of the Salvation Run, along with other nefarious supervillains. Alternate versions of Black Spider In the Council of Spiders storyline, a Black Spider whose name is unknown was a part of the group of assassins known as the Council of Spiders. This version of Black Spider fought with Red Robin and was eventually defeated. In an alternate version of the DC Comics universe, one of Bullet Man's enemies was called Black Spider, whose real name was Jules Ray. This version of Black Spider was a criminal who was deported and incarcerated in a dungeon where he lost his eyesight and went insane. However, he was able to become friends with huge spiders that resided in the dungeon and dubbed himself Black Black Spider. He returned to the United States seeking revenge on those who were responsible for his deportation, but Bullet Man and Bullet Girl defeated the Jules Ray Black Spider and conducted a rescue operation for the hostages whom Black Spider had taken. After the hostages were rescued, they killed the villain.
Black Spider appearances in other media. Black Spider, the villain who claims to be a vigilante in the DC Comics universe, has made appearances in various forms of media beyond the comics. In the animated series Young Justice, the Eric Needham incarnation of Black Spider appears, voiced by Josh Keaton. This version of the character is a member of the League of Shadows, known to mock opponents with his relentless quips and bantering. He wields wrist-mounted web shooters and is a formidable opponent for the heroes of the show. In the 2014 animated film Batman, Sultan Arkham, the Black Spider of Eric Needham makes an appearance and is voiced by Giancarlo Esposito. This version of Black Spider is a vigilante who killed multiple gangsters all over the country of the United States. He is recruited by Amanda Waller to be a part of the Suicide Squad in order to extract information from the Riddler. Black Spider, like all the other members of the Suicide Squad, is implanted with a nanobomb in his neck to ensure his cooperation. However, the squad comes across Batman who switches suits with Black Spider in secret so he can investigate them. Amanda Waller finds out that the Suicide Squad is removing her implanted bombs and detonates them, which ends up killing Black Spider and King Shark while the rest of the squad survives. Black Spider also has a brief appearance in the 2009 film Superman slash Batman Public Enemies. In addition to his appearances in television shows and films, Black Spider has also made appearances in comic book series. The Black Spider version of Eric Needham appears in the Batman Adventures issue number 5 to 8, in which he was a member of Black Mask's gang. He also makes an appearance in issue number 3 and 4 of the Young Justice tie-in comic book series. The Black Spider version of Johnny LaMonica appears in Batman Sins of the Father, a comic that happens after the events of Batman the Telltale series. Marvelous Verdict Well, that is a wrap on our journey into the dark and dangerous world of Black Spider from DC Comics. This guy may not have the same level of fame as some of his superhero counterparts, but he sure got plenty of lethal charm to make up for it. The vigilante turned villain has been a part of amazing storylines that makes the reader craving for more. From his killer costume to his ruthless approach to justice, Black Spider is a character that demands attention. Thanks for hanging out with us and don't forget to smash that like button and hit subscribe for more videos exploring the twisted and wild side of superheroes and villains. Let us know which other villain you want us to explore next in the comments below. Have a good one!